If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're going to be knee deep in his friends. Like Let's I said, I could just bring all the companions. I'd love it. First. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword oh. or two. And, and the yeah, Dawn Guard. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's I forgot about the Dawn Guard completely. <laughs> Dearing me. Oh, what does that say about me? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it says that I don't really like the Dawn Guard very much. Oh, dear. Right. I want a hot meal. And a bed. And probably a bottle of wine or two. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. We're, uh, we're in Harfenheim, just outside of Solitude, my house. Um, I saved everybody. The torture of having to watch me trudge all the way back to, uh, well, to here, through the mountains and so on, and back through Darkfall Cave, which was kind of annoying because it took me ages to find the exit out of Darkfall Cave once I got back there, stepping through the portal from the Forgotten Vale. So previously, we retrieved Oriel's bow from the Forgotten Vale. It's, it looks like this. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, it looks like this. <laughs> there we go. Um, I should hockey this, really, shouldn't I? Um, or favorite it, at least. Uh, Make you four. There we go. Um, so yeah, Oriel's bow, and I've got some sun hallowed arrows to go with it. With this, I believe I shall be able to probably quite easily kill Harkon. I would imagine, uh, since the thing does sun damage for Christ's sake, and he's a vampire. So there you go. And speaking of Harkon, that's our next stop. That's where we're going next. Well, actually, no, we're going to see the Dawn Guard next because we need to go talk to Isran, who presumably is going to help us kill Harkon. It'd be funny if you didn't, really, wouldn't it? Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, yes. I I need a new house, Serana. I need a new house. This one... I couldn't quite put my finger on what was missing from this place until I came back here absolutely starving hungry, as you can see at the bottom right there, and realized this place does not have a kitchen. It does not have a kitchen, as far as I can find. It does not have any sort of cooking pot for me to use. It does not have any kind of larder. There's nowhere to put food here, and there's nowhere to cook it either. I've checked. I've double-checked. So that's an issue. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find a new house. In the meantime, we should get going. It's the evening. I slept through most of the day because by the time we managed to get back here, I was so knackered we had to sleep for about eight hours just to not be tired anymore. Um, had a drink, and obviously don't have any food. I've got some raw venison that I can't cook, because this isn't even a cooking thing. Um, so it's kind of annoying, really. So basically, we're just going to head up here. We're going to get the cart, and we're going to ride the cart through the night to... Uh, I need to fix his door, don't I? <laughs> we're going to ride the cart through the night to Riften, where I'm going to stop by and do some shopping, because we need to replenish our supplies. We need more food. We need more water, we need more potions, and we need more lantern oil. Because I have a feeling Castle Volkar is probably going to be quite dark and dingy. So... And I think I've only got one... I, I've only got one sort of... load of lantern oil left at the moment. Um, well, I've got whatever oil's left in the lantern presently, and I don't have any more replacement bowls, so... No, you I need to go and replenish that. We'll have to do it in Rifting, because all, all the shops are shut here, so. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Riften, my friend. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Get up there. I was say, who's it gonna do? We're gonna switch to the loading screen sometime today, that'd be nice. <laughs> All 
right. Here we are. It's a foggy day, apparently. Let's head on inside. Now the question is, which shop do we need to go to? What the- Oh, for crying out loud. You just killed Wujita, whoever the fuck Wujita is. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kinds grow this time. I think you've got more pressing problems than dragons right now, mate. Let's go. Moving on. I think it's along here, isn't it? Yeah, this is probably the one we want. New around Riften? Take my advice. Stay no, I am not new around Riften. My goodness me. Welcome <laughs> to the Pond Prom. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome to the Pond Prom. Take a look. Right. Lantern oil. Oh, well, also uh, bread. Thank you. Do, do, do. Lots of cheese and bread, apparently. Diets are for the weak. <laughs> um, lantern oil, hooray. I shall take the lot from you, sir. I'm carrying too much to be able to run again. Never mind. I'll see if I can fix that. Uh, oh, and potions. Not particularly amazing ones, but I will take them anyway. Let's see if I can find a cooking pot around here somewhere. Alright, what can I sell you? Not a lot, actually. All the heavy stuff I kind of need. <laughs> Except for this, I guess. Um, frost resistance 40% is nice, but nah. Um, all this venison. I aim to cook this, so I will hold on to it for now. Ancient Falmer Crown. It belongs in a museum, really, doesn't it? But I kind of need it gone from my inventory. Maybe I could give it to Serana, maybe. These I don't need. All those. Or indeed these. <laughs> All that. The initiative. I'm not selling that. That definitely is not going to some random shopkeeper. Can't bring myself to do it. I don't really need that, though. Or that. Oh, I see. You only got. It's probably just as well I'm not selling you a black soul gem, to be fair. Uh. Whatever, I just want it out. Um. Okay. Clear scar. You can have that too. Uh, right. That'll do. Good day. Oh, what is it? Uh, do -do 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 -do. Need to trade some things with you. All right, let's see what you have. Would you like this Falmer thing? Where is it? There you go. Apparently, you would. Oh dear, it's conflicting quite horrifically with that hood. <laughs> um, I should probably try and take that off you or something, and my menu's gotten stuck. Fantastic. Blah. Anything good? Love it when it does that, even when you've got the mod installed that is supposed to make it not do that. Uh, where is this hood you're wearing? This thing. Yeah, it doesn't even. It doesn't even do anything.
Um, not sure how sold I am on the overall look, but whatever. At least I don't have to carry it. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, moving on. Right. I'll have a chat with you about that other stuff later. Uh, right. I need to find a cooking pot somewhere. Oh god. So much yelling. One would almost think it's a marketplace, wouldn't one? Wouldn't one? Um, let's, I think there's an alchemist shop down here somewhere. Yes, an alchemist shop. Unless you can help, shut the fuck up. Elgrim's elixirs, yeah, they'll have potions here, surely. I'm kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. Hmm? Uh, sorry, just thinking about my experiments. Right, yeah, I know. I do need to talk now to the individual over here. You here for lessons like Ingen, or did you wish to buy something? An adrenaline rush potion. What on earth? Is that something that can, like, reduce my tiredness or something? Maybe. Um... Take a look. Aha! This is what I wanted. Is this magic? Nice. Might run into a dragon between here and there, so you never know. Um, right. Thank you, good sir. Yeah, that's goodbye. All right, where can I find a cooking pot? Maybe in the B and Barb. Maybe. I'm trying to think. I'm not recalling there being any cooking pots in the B and Barb, but I'm gonna have a look anyway. My kingdom for a cooking pot. I mean, there's one at Fort Dawnguard, isn't there? Now I think about it, but whatever. If we can get this done now, I wouldn't have to remember it later. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, aha! Tell me I can cook this venison. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. I am freaking starving. Give me the venison. <laughs> That's done the trick. I'm thirsty as well. Right, I need to fill up these water skins. I've only got like one swig of the stuff left. Who? Oh, it's you again. No, we're not talking to her. She's irritating. I did it. I had to say it, didn't I? I said the D word and I summoned one. Bollocks. Take a Beautiful bubbles and gleaming gemstones over here. Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're Certainly can't see him. I can hear him though. Right, anyway. Why is with my frame rate right now? My frame rate is appalling if I look in that direction. Like, that's not good. We can sneak out the back gate. That's what we'll do, I think. Um, wow, I'm... Getting less than 60 FPS in Skyrim. That's a rare occasion that happens. Uh, right, I, f I have this feeling like I've forgotten something. Yes, no, I need to replenish my water somehow. It's a good question, actually. How the hell do I do that? It's not even a well. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Or is it? No, it is apparently, even though I can clearly see the bottom of it right there. Weird. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. Right, good. You're That's a stranger here too, huh? We are fully provisioned. We have everything we need. We've got potions, we've got water, we've got food. I've got an adrenaline potion apparently. What does that even do? Does it maybe count as food? No.
Um, I don't see it here anywhere. Missing it? Is it here? Is it not? I just. Huh. I don't know how that works. That's very odd. Peculiar. Maybe I just bought it off him and immediately drank it or something? I don't know. It's very strange. The Whatever. Have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Actually, it probably happened about a year ago, now that, now that you mention it, mate. It's been a while. Anyway, man, I, I miss having a horse. I never thought I'd say that. But whatever. Just keep trudging. I don't believe I'm hearing a dragon anymore, so that's good news. I hope he's buggered off. I don't have time to deal with that shit today. I've got an ancient vampire lord to kill. How much damage does Oriel's bow actually do? This is something I haven't really seriously bothered to check. 126. Right, so Dragon Rend does more damage, generally speaking. This does this does do ten points of sun damage, but yeah, yeah. Mind you, I'm not that brilliant with longbows anyway. I've got like skill a hundred in them, I think, but I don't think I have the perks to really do serious damage with it. So, Come on then. Tough day for you. Sorry, are you using like chain lightning or something? Because you were hitting them, but also me. Stop it. It's quite irritating. Uh. Okay then. And have we got more bandits? Only bandits sing that badly. That's close enough. Watch out. And finish him off. There you go. Also no. You know, one of these days, hopefully, they'll learn not to infest this section of the road. With their extremely awkward chest that I can't bash open. It did contain a health potion 6, though, so I'm quite happy about that. Alright, moving on. More food. Never ending, is it? Now what? I can hear lightning spells. Now what's going on? Why is this piece of the road so fucking popular? Colour me very bloody confused. There'll be some vampires down here somewhere as well waiting for us, I can almost guarantee it. I 
again, what is it with the cave entrances that are blatantly not cave entrances? <laughs> you can see the solid what rock face. It's like, it's not a cave entrance. Stop trying. It's just nonsense. I don't know why I keep picking this stuff up, but the, the number of times I actually remember to make any potions are few and far between. Force of habit, I suppose. Just feels good to pick things up, you know? You, you know, until they ever encumber you. Hello. It's the feral plague wolf. Got some vampire friends waiting up here for me, or are they going to be here on the way back? Mm, coast is clear for now. These fortifications here last time? I think they were. I'm not so sure, actually. No, I think they were. Dawn God's growing. I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing, frankly. I'm going to get this feeling I might have created a monster. Fanatical organization of zealots will happily send people on missions to murder random members of the public on the suspicion that they're vampires. I still got that quest in my journal, by the way, and I'm not doing it. I feel like this might cause problems down the road. And if it does, hopefully I'm around to do something about it. I mean, that's all I can say, really. <sighs> what? Dawn God. Right. Oh, hello. Okay, my frame rate is still kind of weird in here for some reason. Maybe if I just do a little cell buffer purge. No, that genuinely hasn't helped very much. Bow. You have Oriel's bow. We need I your help is oh, but, but, tales, sorry. But I could never have imagined its beauty. We need your help, Isran, it would seem. Indeed. The day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind? Her own family. Trust her more than you. I mean, I trust her to do the right thing. I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, gather round. Come on then, we haven't got all day. I can hear rain, but nothing's coming through the roof. Dude, make your mind up. <laughs> Just stand still for a second. For too long, we've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill yeah. our people. Now, we find the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Harkon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is our fate. This is the time of the Dawn Guard. Kill the abominations! This is the it. The hole between the eyes for me. Yes. No yes. It's time Oops. to take the fight to their door. Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Volkahar. 
can you tell me more about the old Dawn Guard since we're here and I'm randomly brandishing my uh, bow in your face for some reason? Only what I've heard. Back in the second era, the Jarl of Riften had a son. Adventurous type. Too much for his own good, it seems. Wound up turning into a vampire. The Jarl, unable to kill his own son, spent a fortune building this keep and hiring men to guard it. Their job was to keep the Jarl's son contained within. They took it seriously, and served honorably. They were eventually forced to put him down. The Jarl banished them from the hold, but they stuck to their cause. Fought vampires wherever they found them. I aim to continue that mission. Mm-hmm. Keep your eyes open. See you there, then? Hmm. Yes? What did you need? Vertha was saying something about the vampire blood in the bow. It sounds like... That's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. You're a daughter of Cold Harbor. So I am. I guess we could use my blood. Do you have any arrows? Elven arrows? I'm not going to just bleed on any old thing. Uh, no, no, I'm not... No, I... Oh. All right, then. That seems like a really bad idea. Um, you ready to do this? I don't think you can ever be ready to kill your parent. Point taken. I'm doing my best to not think of him as my father anymore. Let me know if you need anything. We've got enough to worry about right now. You stay focused, and I'll worry about me. All right. Let's go, then. All right, well, we're here at the frozen most northernmost edge of Skyrim. It's fucking horrible here. It's raining as well. And we're going to take this boat across to Castle Volkehar, where presumably we're going to meet the rest of the Dawnguard. Answer yes. Oh, <laughs> we've still got one of the war trolls with us as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so, right. Where's these run? There you are. We're done with this when none of them are left standing. Let's go. Right, I guess so. I'm a bit tired, but I, whatever. Also, you all appear to be able to run faster than me. That's a little annoying. <laughs> okay. Who's this? Whoa, hello. Okay, right. You know what? I was hoping I could knock him over the edge, but never mind. Alright, what? I'm a sir. Okay, named vampires, that's a thing. All right. I feel like I feel like we should have done this a long time ago, but whatever. That's a thing. I just grab a potion here as I get up. <laughs> I'm acutely aware of the fact that I haven't quick saved in a while, so ouch. Right, who's 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 doing that? It's those guys up there, right? I'm I'm going for them. Alright, then Vingalmo. Gotcha. 
Assholes with fireballs! Do not want. There you are. How did you get up here before me, he's run? Fair play, I suppose. Uh, what? Right. That's not going anywhere. Let's drop a quick save. But really, I'm hungry again. I just ate a whole loaf of bread. I just, it'll have to wait. What's going on down here? Is it dead or not? No, apparently. Now oh, it's dead. Should we continue? I'm not sure where, which way, but... Volkhar Cathedral. This sounds promising. Serana, my darling. I see you still favor keeping a pet. You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you thrown it all away for this pathetic being. Pathetic? You for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before she'd return with hatred in her heart. Adrian, born of your neglect, I think this is a lot more your fault than it is mine, my friend. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Your kind is a blight on this world, and by kind I mean evil, nasty dickhead vampires like you and all your mates who are constantly attacking me and my friends all the time, and random townsfolk, like earlier. Yes, yes, always the noble vampire hunter. And what happens when you've slain me? Is Valerica next? Is Serana? No. I'm only here to kill you. I see. Interesting that you can set aside your morals when it suits you. Enough of this, come on. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. <laughs> You're right, there won't be a second. Very well then, you leave me no choice. Uh, rich. Oh god, okay, right, you need to get out of my face. One thing. There we go. Right. Throw me sun halid arrows. 69 of the buggers. Oops, sorry. I'll try to hit him this time. Wow, it's really not working at all. What is with these arrows? Where has he gone? Never claimed to be a very good archer. Ugh. All right, this is not really working, is it? Um, there you are. My own lack of mobility is the problem here. Skeleton spiders. All right, I'll I'll give you points for creativity. All right, all right, all right. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I can't promise you I'll hit him.
Alright, they probably did the trick. There you, wait, there you are. God's sake. I won't fall for your trick. Stupid Orioles. Bow. Hammer will do the job. <laughs> Seems like I get some stamina back, my god. Alright, where are you? There you are. When in doubt, smack it with a hammer. It's my motto. Where's he gone? What have you got? Show yourself. There you go. Show yourself. I will darken the How many more times must we go through this, Harkon? It's getting tiring. Jesus, you're like Vertha, but only a little bit more annoying. Whoa, okay, this skeleton is a big one, apparently. No, it won't. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You're dead. Okay, your health bar is gone. You're dead. Stop cheating. <sighs> what a mess. Well, now that's done. But anticlimactic, really? What will you do now? I'm not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of I'd course, be right about if that. you've got any more adventures planned. I don't think they'll involve you. I I am not that mean, nor am I not nor am I that rude either, for that matter. Fine, I'd, I'd love to have you along, he says, secretly thinking, oh god, no. <laughs> the two adventurers seeing the world. Yeah, more like 12 or so at this point, I'm afraid. Are you in the, have I taken you to your Vasky? I think I have. Yeah. There's a lot of us now, apparently. Uh, anyway. Uh... With Harkon gone... Yes? Should we let Valerica know? I... I don't know. But what about you? I don't know either, really. This is kind of a it's up to you sort of a situation. <sighs> um... How are you feeling about... I mean, you know, the big pile of red goop be behind me that was your father. I'm not happy about this. He... He was still my father. But I suppose my father really died a long time ago. So... The beast is destroyed. Not Pretty thoroughly, that, yeah. But are you... Sorry, did you want to say something? Uh... Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure I want your sword, Harkon. Yeah, no. I think we should probably destroy this thing.
empty. Well, and I guess that's it. Let's go. Okay. Um Jobs are good. Hello, Mr. Troll. I left you out here by yourself. That was a very nice one, was it? Or is it, or have you earned your freedom? Is that what's going on here? Well, I can't bring you with me, can I, apparently, so... Um... Well... I guess this place is yours now. I'm certainly not moving into, the, into it. It's horribly depressing. So, um, yes. You're the, the king of Troll Castle now. We need a name for you, don't we, really? Call him Bert, I suppose. Oh, home sweet home. You know, at least this place has a cooking pot think somewhere I always end up coming back here don't I this probably is always going to be home all right everybody this is Serana I've made her an honorary member of the companions so do try and make her feel welcome be nice um right yes you can find a bunk downstairs probably somewhere if you need one you probably don't do you now that I think about it uh, not much else, really. There's We have a dog called Miko. You might have to walk him every now and again while you're staying here. Everyone does it. It's just part of the job. Um, yes. Uh, there's not much else to it, really. Hello, Greg. Long time no see, mate. Um, what do you need, my fame? If, if Roderick over there gives you any funny looks, just try and ignore it. And um, if you hear any howling at night... It's really best not to ask any questions. 